There's a show coming up in Evanston. Welcome back, the Bob Dylan of Magic, Nate Staniforth. Hi, Nate. Hey. How you doing? Thanks Welcome for having me back. back. Yeah. Great. And you've got a book we're going to talk about, too. I do indeed. Yes. Right. You look magic. a little bit like Bob Dylan. You get that a lot. That's probably the only thing we have in common. Yeah, <laughs> you've, the hair. You know. You've never performed for Bob Dylan. No, sorry. All right. Hopefully, hopefully. All right, tell us about the book first. Yeah, it's a book about wonder. Um, magicians have a really close relationship with wonder, and it's a, it's a story about loving it and losing sight of it and then trying to find it again. Yeah, how would you describe your magic? Because it's not the laser light shows and all of that, right? It's not, no. Yeah. I, my favorite part about being a magician is that experience of astonishment and awe. Yeah. And, uh -huh. and I've cut out everything in my show but that, right? The whole goal, it's not to entertain people, it's not to make them laugh, it's just to give them that sense of, what was that? You what know? just happened? Because I love that. That's the greatest feeling in the world. Right. And you traveled the world and kind of took some from the the pros all around the globe. Yeah. Yeah. The goal was to uh, travel to a culture totally different than my own and find their version of the magician. But what I found is that, you know, I went looking for street performers and snake charmers and, and you know, sort of traditional Indian street magic. But I found that the process of traveling through the country and meeting the people there was far more amazing than any of the magic I saw. I get the Bob Dylan thing now. Yeah. <laughs> That's the way you talk, too. All right, show us, show us what to, you got. Do you want to see something yes. cool? Yes, yes. Right. So let me ask you this. Okay. Uh, Ryan, I'm going to have you do this. Can you just shuffle the two halves okay. together? All right. How are you I'm, not a big, I'm not a big card player, but I'm going to no. do my best here. Okay. All right. Oh, boy. No, you're not. That's, <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. No, that's Is that good. Right? That's good. Yeah, okay. No all right. All right. Uh, I'm going to have, Val, I'm going to have you do this too. Okay. If I were to ask you to guess. Ooh, that skills. Oh, sorry. I love that. Let me ask you to guess this. Okay. If I were to put one card face down right here, I'm going to have you guess whether that's a red card or a black card. What would you say? What would your guess be? I'm just, first thing that came to my mind was red. Red. Turn it over. Well, I'll be done. All right. Ron, I'm going to have you help with this now. Okay. I'm, I'm going to try this. Val's magic. She's magical. Yeah. If I were to ask you to guess whether this card was red or black, what would you say? I'm going to say black. Black. Turn it over. Okay. So, okay. Got so, some so skill. Val, I'm going to let me. It's a 50 50 let me chance. Take the book. Don't be that impressed. I'm going to give you the whole deck. I want you to hold it face down like this. Okay. You're going to deal through the entire deck, and you're going to guess whether each card is red or black. If you think it's black, I want you to put it face down here. Okay. If you think it's red, I want you to put it face down there. Don't, don't think about it too much. Just okay. get a rhythm going. Black, red, red, black, whatever you want. Okay. But just start dealing now. leave it now. face down. Leave it face down now, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. oh boy, and I'm marks. nervous. Get set, go. Okay, here we go. Hmm. You better speed up. <laughs> We are going to be here all I'm afternoon. I'm feeling it. <laughs> okay. I would, say, I would say don't think about it too much. Get okay. a pattern going. Just build up some speed. Yep. There you go. It one, should feel one, random one, to you. One. Obviously, You're the pile going... should be about the same size. But... Okay. I'm kind of sloppy here. It's okay. Is that okay? Right. Yep. Mm, mm, okay. Mm, so a couple mm, things are important mm, here mm, now. Mm, mm. A little would, dance move. Can we get some music? Uh, uh. He said get a pattern. <laughs> a, would you agree, Val, that right now there's no way either Ryan or I could control where you were dealing the card? No, you can't you, control this. You barely knew. I right? barely knew. <laughs> so, so here's why I love this so much. When, when you go back and remember this, yes. you'll remember that you shuffled the cards, that I shuffled the cards, and that you held the cards as you dealt them into piles, sure. right? Mm -hmm. sure. So I want you to see this. You Actually, here, we'll do it like this. No way. No way. You said that all of these cards here, here let me just do it like this. I'm trying to make this dramatic for the camera. Okay. So, <laughs> okay. so you said red, yeah. red, 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 red. Here, we don't have to take all day for this, but you separated them into red, and wow. black without missing one time. One time. How did I do that? That was pretty good, Val. Well, I think I better quit this <laughs> job and take my career on the road. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> I, I'm, you got the wow and the astonishment out of me. I'm I don't know what just it. happened here. I really don't. Do you? No. How'd you do it? He's not going to tell us. <laughs>
<laughs> we did it. Nate, stand it forth, everybody. <laughs> Thank you very much. You can get a copy of Nate's book. Here is Real Magic in bookstores now. You can also catch him in person February 16th at The Space in Evanston. We'll be right back.